Welcome to The Daily Dish with New York Times bestselling author, Leanne Ely. Putting vibrancy back into your everyday life and feeding your heart, mind, body, and soul. Join us every day at 1 p.m. Eastern for Motivational Monday, Tuesday's Tip, Wise Woman's Wednesday, Thirsty Thursday, Food Fight Friday, and of course, Q&A, where no question is off limits. And so full Saturday. Here is your host, Leanne Ely and The Daily Dish. Jazz hands. <laughs> Had to do it. Had to do it. Well, hello. Welcome. It is Thirsty Thursday. So glad you're all here. And it's people are already coming in. Good to see you, Sharon, Yvonne, Catherine. Yay! In the house. You know Jenny's behind the camera. No, she's not, but she's <laughs> producing all of this. Jocelyn, Noreen, Amber's here, of course, and Sadie's here. Sadie's her little daughter. Are you? She's just the best. I want to talk a little bit to Sadie here in just a minute. But Martha also here. Noreen, Jocelyn, go like golly golly, come on in, y'all. Isn't this so much fun? <laughs> I love this. I love you guys. I really mean it. Linda's in the house. Lucy, Joanne, thirsty Thursday. Who's thirsty? I am thirsty. I've got. I want to show you my sweet cup. I think I've showed you this before. Uh, Chance made us colleagues, but the laughter and the fun made us friends. Isn't that so sweet? It's got, of course, my uh, hot milk mix all on the bottom. Jenny gave me this for Christmas. It's a wine glass, but it's my hot milk mix glass. I love it. Mm -hmm. Juanita, Ann, Carlos, Beverly, you're in the right place. We're going to rock this show today because we're following up with determination because we know success follows determination, don't we? But there's a secret ingredient. It's coming to you in just a minute. First of all, check this out, right? Treat your body like it belongs to someone you love. Let that land. Treat your body like it belongs to someone you love. That's it. We are sacrificial at some points to the point of martyrdom or we're victims. We choose one or the other. We don't put into the equation too often ourselves. That's what this is about. Put you in there. Love your body. Your body loves you if you'll love it back. How do you like that? Shabam. Here comes here comes Sarah. Sarah, was you weren't in the house yesterday and I was sad. I'm just going to say it. I was sad. You know, we are dropping some, some supplements like they are hot. Let me just tell you, here's what happens when you get our supplement of the week, which is the core four. These are the things you got to have. If you want to feel good, you got to have them. Uh, most of us don't get them enough in our diet. This is why they were created in the first place. Go to savingdinner.com forward slash show to get them because when you pick them up, not only are you getting a discount on the bundle, but we're also going to send you a whole slew of recipes like you would not believe. And guess what? Here's the bonus. They're all sprint approved. So this is fabulous because you can continue to sprint without getting bored. Who wants to be bored? Anybody? Anybody up for boredom? Didn't think so. <laughs> Just a thought. I, I mean, no, no, thank you. Also, we have our mindful mugs that we are down to the last mm, this much. Grab them, grab them, grab them, grab them, grab them. It says, don't get mad about the results you didn't earn from the work you didn't do because it's a wake up. This is a cosmic two by four. It's a trigger. It's going to teach you to really start applying yourself. You want to live in congruency, right? Doesn't that make you feel better? Makes you feel good about yourself. So go to savingdinner.com forward slash mug. Read all about it. Look, Anne just got hers. She loved it and the message. And I'm so delighted. I am so delighted. Hi, Susan. Good to see you. Yeah, it makes it makes things happen. It is a setup. Every time you turn around, there's something there looking at you. Like, what a perfect se segue, right? The, the quote deck. And by the way, we just went over the whole thing for the new quote deck. Holy cannoli. Can I just, no, I shouldn't have said that. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with cows. Um, that quote deck is off the hook. And our Amber, who is a cre creative genius, did the most 
beautiful colors for it. Everything about it is just going to make you go, oh, got to have it. Yeah, where do you see it? And this also has the full bloom stuff on it. And you're going to get fabulous brand new quotes. Susan, I'm so glad you love your yellow mug. Doesn't it put a smile on your face? It's so yellow and cheery. How about this, for example? If you argue for your limitations, you get to keep them. But if you argue for your possibilities, you get to create them. Is that not brilliant? Anna got her full bloom notepads. Use them the way that Sarah uses them. She puts her I am statements and then tapes them all over her house. It's called decorating. <laughs> I love this other one. Here's another one. Well, of course, there's my Diana. Find a way. Mm, love that. Hope and fear cannot occupy the same space at the same time. Invite one to stay. Thank you, Maya Angelou. You just light me up every single day. All of these do. This is the one, though, that I have on my stand that reminds me every day of my word of the year, which is consistency. Part of courage is simple consistency by Peggy Noonan. And these little stands are now back in the shop. You will be getting them. They're fabulous and they help. You know, you can put it right there on your desk and have it be looking you eyeball to eyeball. Don't we love that? Mm, here's to that. q and A's tomorrow. Have you sent your question in? Super easy. Send them into support at Saving Dinner. Dot com and in that in that subject line, you know the drill. All you have to do is question for Leanne on Friday. It's that simple. We might have hairdos just in case I'm going to have a can of hairspray, some bobby pins, and a hairbrush. I get asked hairdo questions because this is so on point. So <laughs> I'll bring it all out. Uh, what else do we have going on? Uh, supplement of the week. I told you about my son's commercial. Did I tell you about that? Of course I did. How many times can I tell you about that? How many proud mom moments can a woman have? Well, a lot. <laughs> Let me just say, watch it. And guess what? He's in another commercial. It's also a Jape commercial where they have kind of a compilation of all these kids in sports. And the little blip of the guy on the river kayaking, that's my son. <laughs> but anyway, so he's in two Jeep commercials. Proud, proud mom. So uh, yeah, there you go. And today is Hot Milk Happy Hour at 2 p.m. Eastern. I will be in the Hot Milk Sprint group. You gonna be there? You know, I don't know what we're doing in there, but we're just, we're gonna make it a regular habit. I think habits are good, don't you? Piggybacking it, mm -hmm, there it is, on the Thursday show, just go right in there and we'll just chew the fat, so to speak. We'll eat it, maybe. Uh, newsletter and show notes, if you're not getting them, come on, come on, come on, get on the track. Go on with that. All you have to do is sign up at savingdinner.com and we will send you show notes from the day before. We'll send you great recipes. We'll send you everything and you'll get, you'll be in on the first to know. When is the puppy coming? My puppy's name is Lincoln. Is that not cute? Named after the best president in the United States ever. Lincoln is my doggy. It's a silver lab with blue eyes. And if I don't stop, I can't stop posting pictures about this is Lincoln. This is Lincoln over here. I posted it on Instagram last night and it went over to, to uh, Facebook as well. It's on my personal page. And I'm telling you what, you know what I know? <laughs> I was like, wait a minute here. What is up with this? Why did it double post? So Apparently, I've connected the two things. But anyway, you can see him. He's, it's on public. It's on my personal page. And if he's not the most beautiful little puppy in the world, I just don't know. I get him April 2nd. It's Mark's birthday. We're getting him on Mark's birthday. I bought everything Amazon had to offer. A box the size of a refrigerator came to my house. Bam! Puppy pads, leashes, collars, uh, food. Oh, yes. And then I'm buying puppy insurance. This is ridiculous. I am just, I'm over the top nuts, okay? Certifiable. But what do you see? It's just, he is, he's going to be the last time, good question, Debbie's asking me, when's the last time you had a doggy? It was in the early 2000s when my little David dog died, who was a lab and plot hound mix. Uh, the best dog in the whole world. As a matter of fact, I had a friend who used to say, that David was a proud American. You could see him sitting in a recliner, reading a newspaper and holding a pipe. He was that kind of a dog. He just had the personality and the, the temperament of just a beautiful human being. He did. I wish more, more people could be like little David. And I, and I thought nobody could ever hold a candle to that dog. 
no one. He, he was just the best dog ever. And when he died, I, it, it, a part of me just went, ah, it just crushed me. I am going to be making this dog's dog food, by the way. There will be bone broth in this dog's dog food. Yes. <laughs> Let me tell you. And I just um, got the paperwork and everything for it. It's a holistic, integrative veterinarian practice. Yeah, I'm, I am that crazy woman. So just, you know, everybody out of my way. I'm about to be a tough, I'm going to be a dog mom. <laughs> it's it's on. It is on. And I'm so glad we got a lab. And I, oh, I bought this little life preserver for him, this little thing. It has a little shark fin. It's the cutest thing because, yes, he's a water dog, but he's a puppy too. So it's probably going to take him a minute. You just saw the picture. Isn't he so cute, Anna? It's in the Hot Melt Sprint group too. You can see him. He is a darling dog. Anyway, I'm excited about that. We're sprinting on Monday. Are you ready? It's not that far away. You can still get your sprint kit. You can still watch the webinar. There's so many things you can still do. So go to savingdinner.com forward slash sprint. If you miss it, you're missing out on the whole core of what it is that we do here. I promise you, if, especially if this is your first time around, We'll hold your hand. We'll get you through it. And you are going to thank us later. A week from then, you're just going to go, this is the best thing I have ever done. Seriously. So go to savingdinner.com forward slash sprint. Get on it, sister. This is what we do. And that, my friends, is my segue <laughs> into the next thing. So yesterday, we were talking about determination. Do you remember that? That whole topic? tenacity, holding on, resilience, really, and just never quitting on yourself. We talk about that all the time. But one of the things, you know, I was looking at it like a chain of events, like how does this whole, how does this whole thing happen? Because the mind shift that you make, the mind shift that you make is, is you start with one thing and then you work to the other and you work to the other. And there's a connection between the two things, between the three things, between the five things even. We see these, this all the time. And what we have to do is understand how it all works. We have to start with the thought first. And from the thought, we have to make a plan and we have to start putting habits into place and all of that stuff. But it's not just a matter of just, oh, just, oh, I'm just going to do this. It's not like you can just say, oh, so I'm going to drive to the gas station, put gas in the car, go get the car washed and come home because that's easy. I mean, that's doable, right? It's just, there's really no if, ands, or buts. We don't have a discussion. We don't have a struggle in our head. We don't, none of that. However, when it comes to changing our habits, there is a lot, there's a lot of action going on in here, right? A lot of, I don't know if I can do that. That's too hard. Oh boy, the struggle bus and da, 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 and on it goes. But what I found is that the persistence that we make, uh, the, the determination that we make for ourselves, and when that is ironclad, then we can, we know that success is going to follow. But the secret ingredient to that whole thing is the willingness quotient, quota, right? The willingness part of the quota. Without that, you can't have any of it. If you're not willing, if you're not saying, well, I'm never going to give up. You know, I'm always going to have my coffee with my coffee mate. Well, okay. But you, you might not get to the next side of things. If you're going to hold your ground and stay where you are and stubbornly dig your heels in and be arrogant enough that you think you know everything, you're going to stay just where you are. It's not going to change for you. Willingness is what brings in the success. Willingness opens the door to the determination and brings in all the other things. It is a huge buffet table of wonderfulness, but it can't be if you're, if you're unwilling. It can't be if you're unteachable. It can't be if you're pushing back on everything and saying, yeah, but. Yeah, buts don't belong in your vocabulary anymore. They absolutely mow you over and take you down. So you have to look at, at this whole thing. There's no need really for an epiphany. We don't have to have an epiphany moment. It can happen, but we can have a series of cosmic two by fours. That's when we talk about, you know, this cup is, is a cosmic two by four. Don't get mad about the results you didn't earn from the work you didn't do. Duh, right? But cosmic two by four, because, oh, so I'm griping and moaning and complaining and talking to anybody who'll pass by about not getting results when I wasn't fully 100% in. Really? That's what we got to be looking at. Those are the things that we got to be looking at. 
So I, I want to say one thing before I get started really on going through this, and that is, you know, who we are always shows up in what we do. And Sadie is, an, you know, you can learn so much from the six-year-olds. Sadie is Amber's daughter. And she made this beautiful little two pictures for, for Leanne Ely, she said, and she wrote it in pretty cursive and made this picture and had a little message for me. And I'm telling you, I'm sitting here trying not to bawl my eyes out. And um, she is so kind. We can learn from a six-year-old how to be kind, how to speak from our hearts and how to be a beautiful human being. That's Sadie. And that's going to grow with Sadie as she gets older. Yeah, makes me cry. But, you know, we can instill that. I, I'm really tired of little girls being told to be princesses and all that. And yeah, sure, they want to dress up and everything. But, you know, I was really disappointed in the whole white horse prince theory. Very disappointed. But you know what? When I finally understood that I am enough, and by the way, that is going to be <laughs> our whole theme for Full Bloom, which is coming up April 24th, Saturday, April 24th. Please mark your calendar for the whole day. This is going to be amazing. And the kindness that we knew as six-year-olds can come back and can come back to us and resonate and live inside of us when we make the decision that it will. And when we're willing to allow that part to be, you know, to be. Well, Sadie is lovely. You know, Sadie is a beautiful little girl just spilling over with wonderment of the world and with people and just and daring to be kind, daring to put it all out there, daring to be lo to love and to be loved, you know, and this is how we need to be. This is why we need to always be looking for opportunities to be in full bloom. So do join me, right? Saturday, April 24th. Where's the little scrolly thing, Jenny? You've got the little scrolly thing. <laughs> I want the scrolly. We have a scrolly thing. So April 24th, Saturday, April 24th, we start right at precisely at 9 a.m. I want you there. It's going to be fab. Plus, can I just say, back to that whole creative thing, Amber is in charge of the swag bag, so buckle your seatbelts. It's going to be epic and on point. So we have to look at, yeah, cosmic two by fours. We have to look at um, holding things too with just a light grip, not putting all of our eggs in that one basket, not being, it has to be this or, you know, therefore I'm just going to, you know, swoon over and, <laughs> and pass, oh, pass out, you know, kind of a thing. You know, my son is on his way right now with his dad to go get a car. And, um, you know, hopefully they've got like three or four of them. He's saved, you know, he's done a really good job as, you know, with this commercial money that he's making and um, all the things. He's just been really, you know, kid, and kids do this. They turn the corner and they just, they make decisions like, I am going to step into this. I am going to be uh, better than I've been before. It's never about that you're not enough. It's about, we got to, we all need to improve on something, right? It's not that. You know, we can't identify with the things that we do as who we are. We identify with the things of our mistakes of the past. We made mistakes. So, okay. <laughs> and isn't that just part of the human equation? Get up. Let's go on to the next thing. Who you are has nothing to do with what you do. If you've made mistakes, then learn from them. Otherwise, it's back to that whole thing of being unwilling. Unwilling means arrogant unteachable, smarter than, you know, it's, it's not, we don't want that. You know, we don't want that. That's full on half-assery by the way. And we want full on back-assery, don't we? We want to step into the very best that we can possibly be. Being willing opens the doors. Being willing makes the whole world, it's a buffet table and you get to eat from it. You know, it's all spread approved. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you know, it, it's a whole different thing. So how do we get to this place then? How do we get to this place of, of, you know, not needing epiphanies, allowing the cosmic two by fours to do their thing, and at the same time, holding everything with a light hand? Well, like Peter in the car, when you hold on to something so tight and it's got to be that, or it's got to be whatever, then you're willing to take on all the things that it also could be, which means you can get whopped upside the head with a two by four in the way of, you know, this car has all kinds of problems. This car isn't going to work. 
you know, Peter's evolved from that whole thing and now is seeking counsel. He's being careful. He's being, you know, not too impulsive. And that takes time. It takes energy. It takes willingness and determination to, to do this. It's, it's hallmarks of adulthood. It's hallmarks of a mature heart. It's hallmarks of being the very best that you can be. It opens you up to the next level of what life has to offer. That's vibrancy. So how do we do this then? How do we step into this place of willingness so that we can find our success, so that we can bring in the determination to get through and get the things in our lives that we really want in there? Well, number one, you got to get your hands dirty. You know, there's so much marketing schmutz out there. Am I right? So much stuff. And I see these commercials all the time. And I just always, I say a silent prayer. I hope none of my ladies get sucked into this because, you know, I look at you, you are my lovelies and I don't want anybody or any marketer or anybody to come between you and your vibrant life. And there's a lot of scams out there. They want to tell you it's easy. Oh, it's just all you have to do is lose weight in your sleep. And I mean, you technically do lose weight in your sleep, but you know, take this pill, stay up for three days in a row. All this crap that's out there that doesn't do a thing to support the vibrant life you want to lead. And it also narrows the focus. The only thing that you're good for is the size of your jeans and the color of your lipstick and, and nothing that means and says and supports who you are as the vibrant woman that you are. None of it does. So you got to get in there. You got to get your hands dirty. Because it's not just about being inspired. It's not just inspiration. It's also perspiration. Get your hands dirty and don't be afraid. Yeah, the risk is there. Always the risk. And your amygdala, you know, that part of your brain that's always going to say to you, oh my gosh, this is different and new and I don't want to do it. I'm so scared. Forget about it. Let it go and just say, I'm going to do it anyway. And doing it anyway, absolutely fires up the dopamine and the serotonin. Those are the chemicals in your body that make you feel good, like right after exercise. And you know how you didn't want to exercise, you did it anyway and afterwards, man, you're not just feeling the burn, but you're also feeling the pride of doing this and how good it feels inside of your body. You know, people who are depressed, they've got studies out there that show you exercise, you're not going to be depressed. We always go for the pill bottle first, don't we? We go to the prescription pad. We go see the doctor. And they want to load us down with all this stuff, with all these side effects, including weight gain, right? It's, that's depressing. Why don't we try some natural stuff first? Why don't we try working with our body first? I'm sorry, I'm going off on a tangent. But this is, this is absolutely the truth. Well, Vicki, I love you being my lovely. I'm so glad you're in my circle. Thank you so much for that comment. That's sweet. Number two is you got to choose your future self over your current self. You know, currently when we start, usually when we start, we have this comfort zone and that's the thing we head to instead of what the future holds. When we see the future, when we see the future, it's scary. You know, it's different. It, it's requiring different things from us. And there's a whole bunch of stuff that needs to go first. You know, there is a little preparation. It's like getting ready for the sprint, right? I ask you to get ready for it. And by the way, the new sprint, it's all been redone. If you haven't seen the document yet, it's got a shopping list in it. It's got everything. So be sure you go to savingdinner.com forward slash sprint and get your new guide. And while you're there, watch the webinar because it's going to help you set up for success. You know, the more you know, the better you do. That's how it works. But your future is all about what you do today. You cannot have, you know, you can't, it's, it's sort of like this. This is what we do. It's uh, we have a high school reunion. Oh my gosh, I've got a high school reunion. We do all these weird fad diets. We take diet pills that keep us up for three days. We're you know practically uh, on the verge of an eating disorder just so that we can look good in this one dress to go to this one occasion. And what is that? That so that's your future self for a, a, a one evening. And then what happens next? Everything falls apart. Everything goes to hell in a handbasket. Uh, priority mail right? It does. And you gain that weight back and then you, and a little, and a few friends too, because that's not what works. Future self depends on your, what your daily self is doing continually, continually, continually. 
And this is the whole thing I want you to start thinking about. What does my future self look like? My future self has a nice way. I'm, I'm where I want to be. I'm comfortable. I'm not a slave to the number on the scale. I'm a, <laughs> you're a slave. You know, you are absolutely contained and hooked and chained, if you will, to your thoughts, to your ideals, to your perception of today, of your future, of not your future self, your future self becomes your today self. That's what I want to see for you. And when we have those kind of eyes, we can have that happen. So we talked about this, um, all of this stuff, but the future self is very much dependent on what you're thinking about today. Because if you think you're a victim, you are. If you think you're going to get, you know, screwed over or you think that somebody's trying to take advantage of you, you think that it's all about, you know, fill, fill in all those negative blanks, then it is. You can project the things that you want to see when you it's like buying a car. When you decide my son's trying to buy a Honda Element. So let me just tell you something right now. His reticular activating system is filled up with Honda Elements. They're everywhere. Everywhere he looks, Honda Elements, sees them online looks at them online and sees them in, in town. You think he doesn't notice them? You notice the things that you want to bring into your life. You do. So when you make a decision to turn off the negativity and turn on the positivity for the things that you want, bada bing, bada bang, bada bing, they start to go off and you start to connect those dots. You can't help it. You can't help it. So remember what you're thinking about, you are always bringing about, and this is impactful imperative for what your future self is going to be all about. Number three, got a new one for you. you you've heard me talk about this. My mother was the absolute, I think she was the queen of hand ringers. Anything would set her off. She was worried, 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 and worried some more about everything. It, it didn't matter. I mean, if one thing was out of place, oh, it was, you know, oh my gosh, what are we going to do about this? And she overly emoted over everything. I am, seriously am surprised she didn't keel over from stress in her 50s. She was just that person and overreactive. And then we add in, and I used to see this all the time with my mom and dad when, you know, my mom and dad had an awful marriage and, you know, I was a witness, the silent sulking. So you've got hand wringing, overreaction, and silent sulking. And I say to you about all of that. If that's you, don't apply. You know, just understand you don't get you don't get to step into a, a whole new self if you're going to live like that. If those are the choices that you make, you can dump the hand wringing anytime because guess what? God's in control of all this stuff anyway, right? Hand it over, hand it over, and stop the the hand wringing, um, overreaction. Bring it down, sister, because when we overreact like that, we're setting on fire our immune system. Did you know that? Because cortisol soars. And when cortisol is present, that is a stress hormone. And it does all kinds of, of reactive damage right throughout your body. So that's not going to help. And then that begats other stuff. And then the sulking, you know, that is anger toward turned inward. Can you imagine that that those that's like the, the deadliest target trifecta ever. That's just going to take you down. So these are things that do not serve, right? They don't serve and they will interrupt and stop you every time. You will not get the vibrant life you want if you want to hang on to these things. So let it go. Let it go. Start flipping it, giving it up, taking your reactions down and just start thinking, you know, I'm sure he didn't mean to do that on purpose. You know, let's tap it down. You know, it's okay because this is how I feel about myself. It's we're just going to let it go. One of the tricks that I have used in the past for stuff when I really want to go, you know, ballistic and my I, my head's about to explode is I, I purposely talk it down and just say, well, you know what? That's that's an opportunity. That's something that can happen. Um, and try not to get passive aggressive about it. Try not to get um, so reactive. We don't have to lose our minds. We don't. We we'll just make a choice to find other outlets. And then the last thing, of course, the sulking thing. Come on. Come on. You know, we're grown-ups. We use our voice. When we use our voice and we do it in a way where we have the control and we're not talking 
to someone say, you made me, because nobody made you do anything, you just, you just say, you know, when this happens, this is how I feel. When this is going on, I feel hurt. It's because it's not about what anybody did. It's about how you feel. And just say, you know what, maybe, and I said this to Mark a long time ago, maybe this is inappropriate. Maybe I haven't dealt with some of this abandonment stuff that I've had to deal with throughout my life. Maybe that's what all of this is connected to. But this is how I'm feeling right now. Because there's nothing wrong with acknowledging how you feel. That's using your voice. And it's also connecting to the, the re reality of the situation. It's not denying who you are and what you're feeling. That's how we deal with these things. The silent sulking, come on. You know, let's grow up and let's be the vibrant women we want to be. And number five is you are capable even when you don't feel like it. You know, you are. You are so capable, so much stronger than you than you think you are. Everything about you, you just haven't discovered it yet. Did you know that? Is that exciting or what? You know, we have to check in with our self-esteem a little bit. We have to remember who we are, whose we are, why we were, we were created in this first place. Why are we here? What is our purpose? And why would I purposely be put on this planet right now at this time? Think about that. Just ponder that for a minute. You're not here to take up space and breathe air. You're here on purpose. And the gloriousness of this whole thing is getting to find out what it is. We're all here to help one another in some form or fashion. I believe that with all of my heart. But the next step is finding out the creative, unique way that you are getting get to do that. You get to show up in your life. And as you show up, you bring other people with you. And you can love them up. You can bring them everything that you've got. You can be the very best version of yourself when you make a decision to do so. We are not just, it's not too late for anyone. You're not too old. You're not too set in your ways. None of that stuff. And this whole, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Come on. I might be getting a puppy, but I know a thing or two about dogs. <laughs> so thank you for today. And thank you for being with me. It was really a pleasure. And Sadie, if you're still listening, I love you. You're the best. And thank you so much for all of you for showing up every single day. Pinkies up. Share this video, would you? If you've got people in your life that need to hear this message, there is someone. Share it with them, would you? Bring them into the hot melt sprint and let's become the bigger community that we that we really need to be. I feel really called to do this and I know you do too. So let's bring them all in. Let's love them up as best we can and let's go out there and change the world. We have that power. Thank you, up. Peace be with you. I appreciate you all. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. You can find us on YouTube on the Saving Dinner channel or on the Saving Dinner Facebook page. Check back daily for new episodes, Monday to Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern. If you missed the live show, you can watch the replay. Until next time, pinkies up.